Hi everyone, this is Tarun and this is Jatin and we are Team Tasting Jam. So we are starting a new playlist in which we will invite industry experts to answer some of the most asked questions. So today we have a very special guest with us, Mohit Gupta, who will answer our questions on Salesforce testing. So let's hear it from Mohit. Hello Mohit, please introduce yourself to our audience. Uh, Hello everyone. Thank you, Jatin. Thank you, Tarun, for inviting me. Pleasure to be with you in this show. Uh, I'm, I work as uh, the technical sales manager for the Tova. Tova is a test automation solution, which is built for the Salesforce application. And I, I would be very delighted to sharing my knowledge and my experience with all of you. Thank you, Mohit. So guys, agenda for today's session is Salesforce testing. So our first question to you, Mohit. What is the need of Salesforce testing? Yeah, like we know Salesforce is already a developed and thoroughly tested platform. So why do we need to do testing again? Right, so just as you mentioned, it's a platform. So it gives and it enables users to customize the platform as per their requirements. So for example, you have an organization and you do have an organization and you want to build your custom applications. Mm -hmm. So Salesforce provides you a platform where you can do that. So that's a platform, uh, they test it from the other side, but the customizations, the configurations that you are doing that are very important to test and provided the Salesforce offers immense potential with the features that they have, uh, you can configure complexity that is beyond your imagination and it is very important to document each and everything and thus you also test each and everything so that during your deployment, during your production release, you do not just banging your heads because you missed one of the things which was important mm -hmm. and that was missed because the testing could not be done at the right point of time. Hence, testing of your customization is important, not the one with that Salesforce is offering. Okay, understood. So, thank you for the answer, Mohit. That was a really uh, good answer. Like, so, our second question is like, how Salesforce testing is like different from other web application testing? Okay, uh, so Salesforce has actually made your task lot more easier because Salesforce has already half tested the application and you just need to test the customization. Whereas in your if you are building something locally, you have an inbuilt web application, you need to test from the very scratch, from the login to the scalability, to the performance, to the UI look and feel, everything should be tested. So that increases the scope of the application development as well as testing. But in Salesforce, you need to focus only on the customization that you have done. And thus, you can be very much focused and get your uh, testing to be done quicker if you do it in a planned way. Okay. So, thank you, Mohit. So, now that we have understood what Salesforce, why we need to do Salesforce testing and what Salesforce testing is. So, my next question to you is, what solution do you suggest to the people who want to uh, test Salesforce by automation? Okay, so for the Salesforce test automation, so uh, generally I have seen people not doing the automation, which is not really a good practice because mm -hmm. at the time of release, it's critical time. Right. You need to make sure you make your decision fast. You cannot just rely to make a decision after a bug that has been encountered after three days. So it is important to do the testing faster. And thus, you need to have an automation testing. Now, I have seen people actually chose Selenium uh, and other open source solution. I'm not denying the fact that they are really great uh, solution and it really helps the different project. But when it comes to Salesforce, they have some limitations. I'm not saying Selenium has limitations, for example, but in general, the approach that has been taken for the automation is not the right one because Salesforce limits you. It limits you to build the test automation capability in the project. And, be, and why? Because Salesforce, as we all know, like we are from the testing background, we know your web application is automated via DOM structure. And Salesforce DOM structure is very dangly. You do not know that if you are building something today, your XPath, your ID, your CSS locator is going to work next week or not. And thus, that's a problem. And that is why Selenium, although it's rich in feature, but limits you. Thus, a solution that is Salesforce aware 
that knows salesforce in and out that knows what changes are or about to come or might come in the future that should be the tool that you should go for and i would recommend to go for prova they have rich history in which they have managed the test automation for the salesforce application since 2014 they are doing it and they are managing everything that is within the salesforce just to add to that i'll not take much time at at this question but just to add to that uh, another important factor is salesforce releases so as you all know sales in the salesforce we have three major releases namely winter spring and summer now in your application or if uh, you have any custom application you have the option which version of the sales of your application you will be on but salesforce forces you to be always on the latest version and thus it is important that before you go for the latest version you test everything on the sandbox which is only available for a limited period of time so consider you have developed an application for 6 long years mm -hmm. and in just one month you need to verify everything has been is working correctly entire thing that's a very tricky task manual testing cannot be a solution selenium cannot be a solution because you maintain you need to do a lot of maintenance to make sure your existing framework work fine your existing test scripts work fine mm -hmm. hence uh prova which updates itself as per the changes done in the salesforce you can make sure your 6 years long effort is working correctly and thus you can be sure of the production release that would be on the latest version that's why that makes complete sense yeah that's a very great answer so what is you have mentioned prova so would you say that prova is an end to end solution for salesforce automation testing uh, yeah that's great question see uh, salesforce uh, most of the time we have seen salesforce is being used as a standalone application but integration with salesforce is always possible and they provide immense capability to do that and hence prova do provide you the option that you can integrate or you can do the testing end to end when we say end to end you can have a web application that you need to test Salesforce do offers a lot of REST API that can be integrated by mm -hmm. Microsoft or any other connectors mm -hmm. or emails. Emails are, are extensively used in Salesforce. Uh, for example, there is an email which is sent to the user, and you would like to do a click on it. Generally, people will have issue if let's say Gmail is your uh, Gmail is your server, or you are working on the local MS Outlook. Okay, that would be a challenge because you. Then you require an additional integration to access the email. But with Prova, everything is built. You just have to work in a drag and drop fashion, and you will be able to work with different integrations that you have. That's really great. Yeah. So thanks a lot, Mohit. Firstly, for answering all our questions, we really appreciate you for providing such information to our users. So guys, uh, we hope you enjoyed our session on Salesforce testing. you can reach out to mohit and us on our linkedin profile so profile links are mentioned in the description we hope you really enjoyed the session thank you